A right-wing war on the truth, and she mentions Fox News. In one of her interviews this week with some of her former uh, compatriots from the Obama administration, she calls Fox a propaganda channel. Now, I was disappointed in this, and I'll tell you why. I mean, if Hillary wants to play the role of partisan Democrat and attack Fox and attack the right wing, uh, she has the right to do that. I thought she was a little more sophisticated than that because she doesn't really like any of the media. I mean, this reminds me in a way of uh, almost 20 years ago now when Hillary Clinton went on the Today Show and said her husband, then the president, was the target of a vast right-wing conspiracy, which is true to a point in the sense that there were conservatives working to undermine Bill Clinton uh, and get out information about Monica Lewinsky, but the allegations were true as the whole world, as well as his wife, uh, found out. Now, if Hillary Clinton during the campaign, instead of only doing appearing on Fox News maybe three times by my count, had tried to reach that audience, maybe she would have picked up more votes. Uh, but the thing is, she barely went on CNN or MSNBC either. She is so wary of the media, and she admits this to some degree in the book. She's never been comfortable with the media uh, and her, her over-programmed style. So when she did do interviews, either she seemed, often seemed defensive or barely made any news, that hurt her too. And in the book, it's not just Fox. I mean, she has a whole section on Matt Lauer and how unfair he was. And you may recall NBC had this commander-in-chief forum where Lauer uh, of the Today Show interviewed her for half an hour, interviewed Trump for half an hour. She believes, and a lot of the mainstream media believes, and this is complete garbage in my view, that Lauer was really, really tough on her and really, really easy on Donald Trump. In reality, uh, Lauer, uh, in addition to foreign policy, asked her a bunch of questions about her email scandal, which was very much in the news. She had trouble handling those questions. And while Lauer, in one case, failed to follow up with Trump when he talked about, oh, he was originally opposed to the Iraq war, it was not an easy interview by any stretch of the imagination. And Hillary Clinton devotes a whole section to the New York Times, which you may recall broke the uh, story about the private email server while she was at the State Department. And went on and on and on and saying the Times made too much of this and it really wasn't that big a deal and the paper's kind of schizophrenic and she doesn't understand it's such a good paper when it's not writing about her. So Hillary Clinton doesn't like the conservative media. She doesn't really like the liberal media either. And this whole propaganda thing, I mean, I wonder how much Fox News Hillary Clinton uh, has really watched. I mean, I do recall interviews that she did, for example, with uh, Chris Wallace, which were very fair to her. Uh, and so to just kind of play to her base and say, oh, you know, Fox is awful without grappling with the fact that, I mean, if you want to say that cable news has become very polarized, any honest accounting would require you to say um, that it's the same thing is true on MSNBC and increasingly CNN seems to be more in the anti-Trump camp. And she has had very sympathetic interviews this week with Rachel Maddow, with Anderson Cooper, um, Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie were a little harder on her. Lauer acknowledged the criticism of, of him in her book. Uh, but basically, it's been kind of a love fest. Almost no hard questions asked of her. So maybe that explains it. She, maybe she knew if she came on Fox, she might be asked a few tough questions about blaming everyone else, including herself, in fairness, uh, for losing the election. Instead, uh, she's really had a very easy ride on those other channels. But Hillary Clinton's been around long enough to understand that while she may view much of the media as unfair, it's not just the right wing any more than it was just the right wing conspiracy that exposed what happened between her husband and Monica Lewinsky, which in turn required her, forced her or prompted her, I should say, to write about the state of her marriage in her new book.